Hello guys, today I want to give you a quick piece of advice that you shouldn't be afraid to have longer names for everything as long as you want to make it clear. For other developers, including yourself in the future, especially if you have bigger project with modules and subsystems. So here's an example of open source project called advising app and i'm planning to review that in more depth on this channel in various ways because it's a very good example of modular structure so you can see some functionality here and i will link that in the description below but today i want to focus on these two arrays casts in the user model and fillable in the user model and you see how long are the field names so is bio visible on profile are pronouns visible on profile default assistant chat folders created i'm even making this video longer just by reading those names right and at first glance it seems kind of unnecessary long names like appointments are restricted to existing students but think about it if you have a system with multiple developers working on it especially open source which means part of the people working with a system making pull requests are outside of the core team then clarity is really important so if we for example leave out that part and go with appointments are restricted then a new developer would go restricted from who or for example visible on profile it's a suffix for a group of fields they are just not in the same order is something visible on profile because if we leave it as just is visible then visible where and if we scroll down through that model we can find a few more longer names like for the method which actually just returns that variable or for example there are prospect subscriptions and student subscriptions so in this case it's perfectly clear that we need a prefix then there's also prospect care teams again three words but since there are also student care teams it makes perfect sense and if we go to the models list of that project also you can find for example another example model name health check result history item five words and you know what that's totally fine because each of those words by itself wouldn't make perfect sense history item of what health history item health of what and actually this model comes from a package extending a package so actually health check result history item is a spotty health package so if you have a model which is potentially extended from your package elsewhere it makes even more sense to have totally unique model name for example history item could be a naming conflict with history item that would mean something else in the project that uses that package and the final example kind of showing my point is from totally another project filament quite recently in filament 3.1 they released this feature for repeaters and duplicate options see the method name disable options when selected in sibling repeater items this one probably goes too far to be too long and could be shortened to five words instead of like eight or so but still i hope you get the idea the goal is clarity the goal is not to shorten space in your editor so if you do feel there could be naming conflict with other variables or methods outside of your feature or that the variable or method name could be unclear for someone who will use that add an extra word to make it clear so yeah this is a general advice not necessarily about laravel filament or php again naming is hard but shorter names are not necessarily better what do you think Maybe you have any examples of longer method or variable names. Share them in the comments below. That's it for this time and see you guys in other videos.